In today's video, Stadia kicks off the summer sales and we'll check out the best games. Also, a big game gets rated. Guys, thumbs up to help that algorithm reach more cloud gamers and let's just dive straight into it. So the Stadia news for this past week, it was mostly relatively quiet, but there is now a bunch more game trials that were added to Stadia, nine new trials to be exact, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw the list out here on the screen. Now, some of these games are a huge deal, Far Cry 6, Death Run TV just launched across all platforms not long ago, and this is the type of stuff that developers can really leverage down the line on their own websites with direct links to these trials, and people can just jump in and play. I've been a really big fan of these rollouts. These demos are a really good way to showcase Stadia and the games from these developers, and I really thought this was a great announcement. But without a doubt, the biggest news for the week is the Stadia Summer Sales. Now, Full disclaimer, I've been covering these sales for almost two years now, over two years. This is by far the biggest and baddest sales I think I've seen, including on new games I've never seen before. So let's go ahead and tell you guys what I think are the best sales I think you guys should buy. Another disclaimer, any game that you guys buy off my recommendations, you actually have a two hour refund window, no questions asked by Google. So go ahead and buy with confidence. Let's start this off with the Assassin's Creed titles across the board. Most of the older titles are on here and they're under 10 bucks. Even the newest Valhalla is only at 23 99. Also, keep in mind Valhalla itself has a two hour demo if you guys wanted to try it out before buying it. I love highlighting this game here, Borderlands 3 at $14.99, because even though it's not the best port on Stadia, it really is such a fun game with really a never ending grinding loot cycle and just killing baddies over and over. Now, a completely new sale never seen before and is absolutely amazing here, guys, is Chorus. This is a game that released late last year, it's down to $15.99. Really, you're getting an amazing dogfighting space shooter here. And I absolutely think this one is worth picking up. Cyberpunk 2077 comes in at a gorgeous $29.99 price. To me, this is a top three best game on Stadia. I logged in the other day and had a blast. Big updates are still on the way with this game as well, so keep that in mind. Dead by Daylight and all its DLC are the cheapest they've ever been on Stadia. $7.99 is a steal for a game that I've actually put in a couple of hundred hours the last couple of years. This game is that good. Now, the Doom sales are not cheaper than normal, but these are always solid prices for really extremely high quality first person shooter action. Eternal is still in my top 10 best Stadia games to play. It does have full 4K 60 FPS goodness. Dragon Ball Xenoverse comes in at another cheap sale today at $7.49 and Dragon Ball Kakarot at $17.99. Both of these are some of the best sales I've seen these games at. Now, I'm just going to go ahead now and list all the Far Cry titles that are coming. These are all pretty much wonderful prices especially Far Cry 6 at $23.99. This is actually the lowest this game has been on sale. I gave this game my full endorsement on my Stadia review on the channel, and it's worth picking up in my opinion. We got FIFA 22 with the next-gen goodness. Keep in mind, older consoles don't even have these next-gen upgrades with FIFA, but Stadia does, and it comes in at just $10. Also, FIFA has cross-play, so I want you guys to keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to add this game because people always ask me about it, and they always mention it in the comments on these sale videos when I don't add it. Final Fantasy 15 comes in at 20 bucks. This is not cheaper than usual, and this is, I think, one of the worst Stadia ports, which is why I don't usually add this to the list, but it does run good enough, and I've dived into this game in the past on Stadia. I enjoyed it, and for 20 bucks, you are really getting dozens of hours of good value. Speaking of good value, let's add Judge to this list. This is another fantastic port on Stadia, has full 60 FPS, it's got a fun and engaging story, and a game that really took me by surprise, and at $19.99, I think it's a great value. Life is Strange True Colors comes in at $29.99. Would have liked a slightly bigger sale on this, but this has been played a lot lately in my household. If you're looking for a deep storytelling game, I think it is worth that 50% off. Madden 22 comes in at $11.99. It's a game that I still play today. It runs great, has great visuals, and at Mafia 3 Definitive Edition comes in at a sale that I've never seen before. This one's completely new at $9.89, and I think it's a solid price for a great Mafia story. Marvel Avengers, a game full of Marvel superheroes that you can play. Full-blown, fast-paced action combat. No cross-play, though, so you'll be grinding solo, but $15.99 is not too bad. 
more new sales that I've never seen again, or at least it's been a long time. Metro 2033 Redux at 499, Metro Exodus at just 999, and Last Light Redux 499. Wow, guys, never before seen sales for these titles, and I really think these are dirt cheap prices for what you're getting in an amazing story and really an amazing experience. Really fun gameplay, and it gives you kind of that edge of your seat action. 1000% grab these games if you don't own them. Octopath Trap has to be mentioned simply because this game never really gets cheaper on any platform than this. It's a game that I've spent a lot of hours during this past Christmas. It really surprised me. It's a very underrated RPG and it has so many super interesting stories that the game tells and it really sucked me in. So yeah, $29.99 is a little pricey, but I think it's a good one and worth it. Rage 2 at only $9.99. It's been a while since I've dived into this game, but from what I remember, it's really got some super fun action in it and at 10 bucks, it's a good value. Rainbow Six Extraction. This is a game with crossplay, has some amazing PVE content and only at $20 this right here absolutely gets my full recommendation I've really enjoyed playing this game this year as it did release back in January Rayman Legends at $4.99 not too bad at all for a very colorful platformer and one of the best on Stadia next up Red Dead Redemption 2 comes in at the lowest it's ever really gets at $29.99 going back to what I said about the top games on Stadia this is also in my top three it has full 60 FPS full true 4k in visual mode full-blown online servers one of the best storytelling games of the past five years on any platform and a must pick up if you don't own it now resident evil village is also 50 percent off and i think this is easily the best horror game to have dropped in the last few years so definitely grab it writer's republic this is another awesome action-packed game features full cross play and comes in at a great sale price of 23.99 so if you guys want some full-blown dark souls type of difficulty on stadia you're gonna look no further than sekiro shadows die twice at 29.99 our next game star wars a jedi fallen order comes in at 9.99 and all you need guys is the base game for this one but really if you're a fan of star wars and you're a fan of good storytelling i think this is one of the better value buys today in the summer sales and this one absolutely gets my nod speaking of even more value the crew 2 at 9.99 this is a game that has tons of different ways to race an open world that you can kind of run around in more content than really any other racing game available on any platform i'm pretty sure and i do think this one is worth those just 10 bucks now another game in my top five on stadia is the division 2 i always rave about this 899 is the standard price this game has full 4k 60 fps full cross play full stadia features and honestly i can't say more pick this one up already and finally, we're going to add Yeast Lacrimosa of Dana to the list at 2099. It's another great storytelling title and comes in at the cheapest I've ever seen it. There was a whole bunch of other games that I just couldn't add to this list because this video is already too long. So I go ahead, guys, and help me out and add the games that I missed down in the comments so we can help other Stadia players down there so they can figure out what recommendations on games they want to pick up and play. Also, these sales do last for a few weeks, so you guys have a lot of time to make your decisions. Last thing I want to say on this, again, if you don't enjoy a game or you don't like how it runs or anything, make sure you guys don't play more than two hours and get a full refund from Google. Otherwise, every game I mentioned today, I've played and tested, and these are truly some of the best sales we've seen lastly in this video skull and bones got rated for stadia this is a highly anticipated title coming from ubisoft i did see some gameplay that was leaked and the game does have some typical ubisoft kind of things that we're used to seeing but it really just kind of looked like it was on a grander scale at least that's how i felt watching the gameplay so i have to say i'm very excited for this game and i can't wait to see it on stadia if you guys want to know which games i think are the best on stadia so you can make a better purchase on your sale click the video on the top left